What's up, booty bandits? Ball licking some bitches. Love them balls on your chin. I know it. I've seen it. I know what you're up to. Get your ass is in here. What up, what up? <laughs> People are like, this guy's like, I will not help you with this fucking game. This game is fucking ridiculous, guys. That's why I feel like um, this would be like a group type thing to help me fucking progress in this goddamn game. See, Snake Eyes, I don't think that it's a get good thing so much with this game as it's a cryptic ass Castlevania 2 fucking bullshit that's in this. There are some puzzles in this game that I just don't understand how anybody's supposed to fucking figure it out, dude. Especially considering the the fucking um, hints and the tablets and stuff are so ridiculously translated. It's a good game. It's just I wish the puzzles were a little bit more streamlined and made a little bit more sense. Oh, I played it, dude. I played this on my Vita quite a bit. Let me bring up the chat on my phone just in case the comments stop. I'll get as far in it as I uh, can that I have in my on my uh, Vita. There are some things I figured out on my own, but some things I had to look up. Donations. Thanks, Gizmo. Hello, Ass Slayer. Mr. Burns, thoughts on the riots? Are they ruining the country? I think it's fucking ridiculous, dude. There's a big difference between... Yeah, I gotta turn down the music here in a minute. There's a big difference between protesting and uh, destroying your fucking city. That uh, people don't seem to understand. Let me turn this down a little bit here. Sound original, chip tune. Let's do original because it's got a really good soundtrack. Now, see, here's the problem, guys. A lot of these people are defending these riots and shit because they don't want to. They don't want to look like they're racist or some other bullshit by having an opinion that uh, goes against the grain with these with these fucking riots. So they're, they're going to agree, like, literally, if these rioters, like, nuke the city, like, if they got a hold of a nuclear bomb and nuke the city, these, some of these people would still fucking defend it, dude. They're just cowards. A lot of people defending it are just cowards. They, they don't have any opinion of their own. So... I defend the people. I defend people's rights to protest, but I don't defend the rioters. Not gonna happen. It's not right. Hey, all Scott here. Scott the Wise Heel. Now, if people are fed up with the system, then that's that's still not the way to do it. And I'm sick of these people like are, are putting like the Boston Tea Party up to like compare it to that. Uh, the Boston Tea Party, that fucking tea was state property. So they were destroying state property. They're, they're, they're not doing that in these riots. They're destroying people's businesses and livelihoods. Okay, people that agree that the shit was wrong that happened, they're destroying their businesses. They don't care. These are just anarchists. So to quit comparing it to the Boston Tea Party. It's completely fucking different. And quit comparing it to fucking... Sports people like setting one car on fire after a fucking soccer game too because that's also not the fucking same as destroying your entire city either So that's nonsense 
Hold on, my, uh... Ani's texting me here. Mr. Burns, did you know they are destroying homeless communities? Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous, guys. These riot supporters are ridiculous. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna get my glasses on here. How do you feel about Sony delaying their PS5 game reveal over this? I, I don't know, dude. It, the, a lot of these companies feel are in a position where they feel like they gotta do something. On, on one hand, I, I don't really blame them, because if they're the one company that doesn't do something, then they're gonna be shit on and, you know, get this cancel culture bullshit that we live in. But on the other hand, I don't see really what that has to do with anything delaying the PS5 reveal. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have a small business. I ain't gotta fucking fuck with it. Does the, is the sound good, guys? A lot of these rioters are paid, guys. You gotta remember that, too. They're literally paying people to do this stuff. It has been proven. You're pressure. So I know what I gotta do in the beginning here. I get my laptop. And I gotta get some money going here. You save it. Yeah, someone is leaving, you know, there are groups leaving giant stacks of bricks all over the place and stuff. I've seen stuff about that. Yeah, the first goal is to get some money, so we gotta go we gotta go grind a little bit. What's up guys? Yeah, a lot of these guys are real tough guys, dude. They're real tough guys, beating up on homeless people and elderly elderly people and defenseless people, dude. But as soon, as soon as there's somebody standing there with a fucking gun or is armed or is uh, somebody that can fight back, they leave real fucking quick, dude. So, that, you know, a lot of these rioters are just ridiculous people. They're using that as an excuse to fucking fuck shit up. First live stream you caught me on, hell yeah guys. It's because I'm streaming at normal people hours. But uh, those that know things about this game, man, and you feel free to help me out. The only thing I ask is let me try to figure it out on my own first. It probably won't take my brain very long to not understand what the hell's going on, so I'll ask for help pretty quick. But if you guys know anything about this game, or have a uh, guide open, I'd appreciate it. This is a guide game, guys. There are people that have beat this game with no guide, but it's literally taken like 260, 300 hours. Like, there's a video on on uh, YouTube of somebody that beat this without a guide and it took them 300 hours, dude. So, like, this game is absolutely no joke. I mean, enemies don't even drop healing items or anything, dude. Like, you're just on your own. Like, the only thing that refills your health is those fucking, like, hot spring things and shit. My first goal in this is to get uh, the Holy Grail so I can warp around. Uh, Ani bought me this. Dude, there's a collector's box set of this that's fucking beautiful, dude. It's like one of the most beautiful box sets I think I've ever seen. I really wanted it. So it's, it's got a uh, La Moana 1 and 2 on it. Like, this game is just too cryptic, dude. I mean, I, like, don't feel bad about using a guy with this goddamn game, dude, because it's, it's insane. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Broke her bone on my body. <laughs> Fucked up. 
I'm gonna open this passageway up here. People can protest police brutality all they want, dude, but when people are dying with these riots, there are <laughs> cops have gotten killed, police chiefs have gotten killed on live fucking Facebook video. It's gone way past protesting at this point. People are getting killed. People are getting beaten to the brink of death for absolutely no reason. It has gone way, way beyond just protesting. Thanks, Joel. Appreciate that, dude. Ten, is that pounds? I think that's pounds, right? Ten pounds from Joel. Thank you, dude. Thought, oh, oh, Dumality. Thoughts on the corporation supporting the riots? You already know they're doing it just to pander. Yeah, dude, they have to. <laughs> they don't have a choice. They just gotta do what they gotta do in order to not be called racist. You know how it is nowadays. Ten poundings. I appreciate it, guys. You guys are hella generous. I think there's a map in here or something. I can't remember. Nah, no, Shellhorn. So that basically alerts me whenever I find a secret or something. All these protests are turning, they're, they're turning violent. We had one in Troy, which is a city near me, and it turned violent real fucking quick. They, they start fucking... They start, you know, pretty normal, but they, you know, nine times out of ten, they're turning violent. People aren't just getting beaten and killed by the police in these riots, dude. <laughs> it's just not true. What you're saying is not true. The rioters themselves are beating people to near death. Okay? The rioters themselves killed a police chief on Facebook Live video. Okay? The rioters themselves are pulling people out of their cars and beating the fuck out of them. That, that's not the police doing that. I don't know what narrative you're trying to fucking say on here, bro, but it ain't true. Okay? There's video evidence of these rioters doing this stuff to people. It's way past fucking protesting at this point. Yeah, the West is becoming a joke, let me tell you. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, I don't have any of that stuff to be able to buy ammo for. I do need... I need something over here. I was gonna go to Dayton today to see if my if my favorite game store was open, but I decided not to. I figured it wasn't safe. I need that map reader. I need that next. So I'll go into the dungeon here. This game don't tell you how to do anything, dude. <laughs> You're just on your own, dude. They just dump you in the deep end. Let you drown. I don't fuck with guns, guys. I, I I think that people should be allowed to have them, and you know that's your right to live in when you live in this country. But I I don't trust myself with guns, guys. I'm really, um, <laughs> dude. I space out. Like I'll end up shooting my fucking dick off, dude. Like I don't I don't fuck around with that shit, dude.
That's actually the only reason I don't own a gun is because I'd end up shooting myself. The temple proper. I love the song that's in this area, dude. So we're gonna be in this area for a little while here. You guys can't hear me, okay? I, I must. I missed. I asked you guys before, but I didn't actually look at the answer because I'm retarded. Dude, the guy that made this game made the music as well, and he has. He had like no experience in making music, and the music is amazing. Like I said, this game is really, really impressive, dude. I just want they—I wish they went a little bit less with the with the crazy cryptic puzzles. I sound good. Here, I'll make the music a little louder because the music is really good. I want you guys to hear it. Here we go. That good. Dude, there was this ESPN guy that was, like, rooting on the rioters and, like, saying burn it down and all this shit. And then they, they got outside his house and he was just like, make them go away! They're animals! They're terrible! And all this shit, dude, it was fucking hilarious. As soon as, soon as they were fucking outside his house, dude, he was done with it. And that's what I'm noticing with a lot of these people, dude. They'll, they'll cheer it on from a distance, but when it comes up in, into their front yard, <laughs> they start crying like bitches. It was awesome, dude. He got destroyed on social media, dude. Alright. So the first thing we need to do is get the Holy Grail. So we can save here. Dude, if you don't get the Holy Grail, like, you can literally get stuck in this, and you can't, and, like, you, you won't be able to, like, get out. Like, you can you can actually get stuck in this game. Like, you need the Holy Grail. Big time. Can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. Okay, so I think the Holy Grail's over here. This game is really good, but it's really, really cryptic. I stand by the notion that this game is probably impossible to beat without a guide. If you go on Reddit, there's like a couple people that have done it, but like most people say it's pretty impossible unless you get lucky. I got to the first boss with very little help, so you guys watch Watch me get up to the first boss with very little help, but once we get past that, that's where we're, I'm going to start to struggle. You guys will need to help me. Oh shit, oh god. So the Holy Grail is in that... Hold on, it's in that treasure chest, but you can't get it. And I think you guys are going to, you guys are going to fucking shit yourself when you, when you see how you got to get it. You gotta push that block on that pressure plate right there. Okay? You can't pull it, so you think, well, how the fuck is that possible? I'll show you guys. I found it by fucking pretty much accident. It's one of the many bullshit things with this game. Okay. Oh, this isn't the right way. I can complete this puzzle. Complete this puzzle by accident, too. If you hit the wrong one, you get fucking electrocuted. So that's that puzzle. Like I said, dude, cryptic. I read game one? Oh. Oh. 
hidden stores via sounds. I can't even buy that right now. Yeah, people stopped talking about the coronavirus real quick, didn't they? The news is still grasping onto her, though. They, they want, they're like, there it is, riots! Remember, coronavirus! You're gonna get it! Oh, I ain't got no fucking... All donation? Oh, thanks. Not a surprise, Pika JK. <laughs> Can't believe they postponed the Sony thing. Xbox State of Series X will have thousands of upgraded games. Sony states that will have more exclusive, though. Yeah, Sony better come through with the backwards compatibility that they've been rumored to have with this thing, dude. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I might wait on it. You know, like, if they ain't got no games at release, like, I'm not going to get it. If it's if, if it's not backwards compatible, like they say, and there's no games to play, I'm going to wait probably a couple years for it. This music is better than it has any right to be. Okay, I gotta try to remember. I gotta buy, I gotta find a I gotta find one of those wood things. You guys can see how this can get confusing just by looking at it, dude. So, you guys know what you gotta do there? That You can't jump on that block right there. Like, it won't go up and down. Here's what you gotta do with this. I saw this in a video. You gotta knock it into the mouth. And now it goes up and down. Like, sure. Oh, God. I probably would have never done that, dude, if I didn't see that in a video. So I'm going to go in here real quick. I don't remember what's in here. The thing about this game is, like, a lot of the puzzles, you'll, you'll complete a puzzle in one area of the game, and then it'll unlock something like way across the world. I think that's what really kills me about this shit. See, I need to... I gotta go and get some some wooden blocks here. So let's go down here. Okay, you can't complete this puzzle yet. I did complete this puzzle on the Vita. Yeah, this was a WiiWare title at one point, too. Those guys will fuck your shit up, those red dudes. Damn, man. See, I'm already fucking lost, dude. Oh, got electrocuted. Oh, no. I gotta get the fuck out of here. You're getting a gaming PC. It's funny, like, uh, Courtney contacted me not too long ago, was trying to sell me a fucking gaming PC or some shit. I was like, no, nah, I don't think I want to buy anything from you. It was a pretty nice one, but I was like, no. Nah. What, you want me to pay you in cigarettes or what? What do you want? I'm not interested.
Okay, we gotta find, we gotta get some wooden blocks. Courtney. She's a stupid whore I used to be. It's a cool game, man, for sure, but like I said, it's very cryptic. You could spend fucking five hours on one fucking puzzle. Yeah, Sigma. It was like her ex's computer or something that he left. And I was like, nah, I don't want him coming to my door trying to get his fucking computer back because you sold it to me. Got everything we need. Let's go get our health pool. And then there's gonna be a puzzle coming up that maybe you guys can help me with, because I can't figure it out. Like I said, I hope this stream's not boring, guys. I just wanna make progress in this fucking game, and hopefully some of you guys have some fucking experience with this joint. Cause it's pretty fucking hard. Imagine a world where the Dow gains a thousand points this week. Yeah, that would be nice. I tried watching a speedrun of this game, dude, and it was a fucking joke. They were using some glitched out. They were using some glitched out fucking pre-patched version of the PC game, so they were using all these crazy glitches. I just wanted to see like a legit speed run of it, dude, but like you can't even find those anymore. All you can find anymore on YouTube is these glitched out bullshit runs. I need to get the I'm getting the Holy Grail right now. I gotta remember how to do it. How to get to the part that I need to get to. But that's my first goal is to get the Holy Grail. Yeah, I have, like, very little interest in watching some glitched-out bullshit run, dude. This treasure chest you can't open yet. You need some kind of light thing or serpent thing or something. I don't remember. But here, you guys want to see how devious this game is? Let me show you how devious this fucking game is. Coming up here. You guys ain't gonna believe this. Okay, I found this by accident. Okay, you guys, you guys see there's a, there's a wooden thing down there. Oh, okay, hold on. Glitch speedruns are dumb as fuck in my opinion. I agree, Flame Hero. Mr. Burns, what's your favorite energy drink? Right now, dude, I've been rocking bangs. Bangs are my jam, dude. You guys know I love to bang as anyway, so I'm all about them. Plus, they got, like, no sugar, and they're really not all that bad for you, but they're like a pre-workout energy drink. Do they get me jacked? I'm drinking one right now. It's malfact. My favorite beer? Ah, uh, probably... Probably MG. I like Miller Genuine Drafts pretty good. I'd probably go with Miller. Coors is all right. I don't drink craft beer or any of that fucking bullshit. I would buy cheap stuff, but I'm not gonna fucking drink Pat's Blue fucking piss. I was arguing with somebody about that the other day, like, oh, Pat's Blue Ribbon is really good. I was like, yeah, what blue ribbon are they getting? A participation ribbon just for showing up? Because they ain't winning no fucking taste test, dude. Blue Moon's good, yeah, I'll drink that. Bang will kill you, homie. Everything will kill you, dude. Everything literally that's good can kill you. Alright, see, so here's how devious this game is, guys. You see those spikes, like, no way down there? Check this out. Yeah, they're fake. Pretty much no way to know that, unless you just fall down there by mistake. It's fucking bullcrap. And that's the kind of crap you gotta deal with with this game, dude. I got my shuriken. Yeah, that's how fucking fucked up and devious this game is, dude. Good luck.
What the fuck? That's what I said. I fell in there by mistake. It's the only reason I knew that those spikes don't kill you. So that gives you a little taste as to what this game's all about with its puzzles, dude. It does not care. I remember to save pretty often. I typically don't drink a lot of alcohol, guys, honestly. These fucking ant lions, dude. You, you guys haven't seen nothing, dude. Wait, wait till I show you some more of this devious shit coming up. Okay, that's the Holy Grail, but I can't remember how to get to the other side of that wall. I gotta get to the other side of that wall in order to get it. Okay, here's a puzzle you guys can maybe help me with. Feel free to tell me how to fucking do this, because I spent like 20 minutes on this last night on my Vita, and I could not fucking figure it out, dude. get our put our big brains together here okay so there's one of those wooden switches right here okay if I put one of the plugs on it these spikes right here will raise up and go back down but it won't unlock the chest all this skeleton says is what is with this no matter how many times I try the treasure box won't open so how are you supposed to do this so I'll show you guys what it does you'll put a wooden wooden plank on it or whatever spikes will raise up go back down and that's it nothing else happens So I'm not sure if, you, if you, any of you guys have any idea. I don't know what the fuck you're supposed to do with this puzzle, dude. I feel like I have the things I needed to to accomplish this, but I don't know. Vita is awesome, dude. I, I play my Vita all the time. But yeah, if anybody knows. Mess with the statue of top. I can't get up there yet. So you can't get up there because you need you need to do that puzzle to unlock the ladder to get up there. You see what I'm saying? You solve it later. Is that what it is? See, that's the thing about this game, dude. You don't you don't know what puzzles you can and can't do yet, and it kind of drives you nuts. Here's something crazy. You guys want to see something? You guys want to see what this game's all about? A fuck in your butt? Check this out. Yeah, we're walking on, we're walking on thin air for no no reason whatsoever, <laughs> with no indication that you can do so. I figured this out the other night. I was like, you gotta be shitting me, dude. One plank right there. Walking on air. Oh, forgot you dropped there. Dude, it's insane, dude, this game, like, you're just on your own. It's cryptic as fuck. Here's another plug here. So something opened, I think, over here. No, down here. There's no consistent rules, dude. Like, you're, you are literally on your own. Shit. Let's 
so I thought I needed to go that way, but not yet. Nah, speedrunners are like breaking the game. Yeah, this game got a sequel. I heard La Mulana 2 is a lot more fair. See, a lot of these like hints and stuff are, are derived from like a Japanese translation thing that they did. That's like a lot of the reason why some of this stuff just doesn't make any sense. Sometimes these skeletons tell you really important things, and other times they don't tell you jack shit. I'm excited for Last of Us 2, dude. I could not possibly care less for Last of Us 2, dude. The leaks pretty much got rid of all excitement for that fucking game, dude. God damn it, dude, I'm gonna die. This game is, it's funny you say it reminds you of an MSX, MSX game, because that's pretty much what it's going for. Like those single screen type puzzler games. Like, dude, you could easily spend 40 hours on this fucking game, dude. God damn it. Finding things that I need, but I'm not finding. I'm not getting the uh, Holy Grail that I should have already for some reason. Ah, I got the Onk Jewel, so that's cool. Now we can fight the boss when it comes up. We gotta get out of here and heal again. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, after those leaks, I have absolutely no interest in Last of Us 2, dude. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pay to play their political agenda, dude, okay? No interest. I'm not even gonna play it, I'm not gonna buy it, nothing. Don't care. I haven't played Devil May Cry 5, is it good? Somebody message me. The jumping's a little weird in this game. Like, you, you notice, like, you'll jump straight up and then you can go left or right, but it takes you a little bit to do it. Yeah, I need to get Devil May Cry 5 then if it's that good. I think they're definitely pushing an agenda in that in that in that game, dude. <laughs> For sure. I think there's a little bit more going on than just, you know, different characters, you know, and whatever sex they are or whatever. I don't give a fuck about that. But they are definitely going super heavy with uh, Ellie making out with girls and 
let's kill off the main character from the other game and in, in a very unceremoniously in cer unceremonious way and pushing this shit down your fucking throat. The other game wasn't popular or good because of any of that stuff, dude. I mean, it's just nonsense. Okay, let's get this fucking holy grail so we can warp. So we got a map, but it's dog shit. I vaguely remember the first game, guys, but you gotta remember it's been a pretty long time since I played the first last of this game. A lot of game outcries are amplified over others, for sure. I remember people about the DLC being like, meh. The thing with The Last of Us is, it just, it got less good the more you played it. Like, every, every replay, I feel like, got less good. I've never been able to finish that game twice. <laughs> I am lost, dude. I do not know how to get to the other side of that wall to get the Holy Grail. I just did it last night, and now I can't figure out how to fucking do it. I think you're supposed to go down here yet. No. That's a later area. Dude. I missed a donation. Thoughts on the Game Gear Micro? Dude, that's fucking absolutely retarded, dude. Who wants to play Game Gear games on something that's like three centimeters big? Oh, let me look up how to get this Holy Grail real quick, guys. I'm literally like spacing out here. Uh, what you have to do is go to E4, the room above, which is three rooms to the right of the grail, and walk through the false wall to the right by the skeleton. Oh, that's stupid, dude. Dumb. Dumb. Retarded. God damn this fucking game, dude. See, I was trying to put logic into it. So, my bad. You guys, you guys, okay. The Holy Grail's back there, right? Get this. This is what you gotta do. This is why I forgot about it. Cause it's fucking nonsense. Stupid. 
Hey! Here's what you gotta do. I found an escape route. These ruins seem connected in a mysterious fashion. You walk through the wall. Yep. You walk through the wall. Okay. So, so there I am on the map. See, I was trying to get to the other side. Because I knew you had to walk through that wall. But no. The game wants you to walk on this side of the map. Through the wall to the other side to push this block. Makes a whole lot of fucking sense, dude. God damn it. That's why I couldn't figure it out. I was trying to get to the other side of this wall right here. It's fucking insane, dude. That is just a little taste of the things to come with this game. So now you got the Holy Grail. Am I having fun? I guess. Okay, so now I can warp around. See, I can warp. I can warp here, like, boom. Uh, so that helps. Dude, this fucking retarded, dude! It's too smart for this game. I try to, like, I try to, like, think into it too much. So I don't think there's anything else I need to do in this area. Dude, it's crazy! You literally stumble across stuff by pretty much by mistake. There's no fast travel in the original? Fuck that. Okay, so now... Now we can technically fight the first boss after I complete, like, one more puzzle. So let's do that. If you guys want to see a boss fight... I think over here. Okay, I haven't unlocked it yet. That's why I, that's why I want you guys to help me beat it, dude, because I can't there ain't no way I'm gonna be able to do this by myself, dude. Like look, you know, like I'm 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 pretty smart when it comes to puzzles, but like some of this stuff, dude. Like, I just don't see how there's any way anybody's supposed to fucking figure some of this stuff out. You gotta kill the red skeletons? Is that what activates that block? That's what I was trying to figure out, dude, how to activate that block. I think I found my resident La Mulana expert in here. I finally got one. <laughs> A lot of you guys have, like, never played this game. I'm, I'm surprised. This is just one area, dude. This is just one goddamn area of the game. There's, like, fucking 12. La Mulana or Splunky? Uh... I don't know, La Mulana might have came first. Man, they take a lot of fucking hits, dude. No, I didn't. There, there it is. You're right. Okay, so now what I gotta do is. You guys ready for the first balls? Kill this bat so it doesn't fuck with me here. First balls? He's really easy, though. Eh? Dude, why would anybody want to play 
a, a Game Gear game on a system that's the size of a size of a fucking fingernail. I don't even like goddamn. Why would anybody want to play Game Gear games on a system the size of Alpha Omega Sin's dick? Nobody got time for that. It's stupid. I don't even like Game Gear. Just play the Master System. It's just better. It's better than the Game Gear in every conceivable way, anyways. Okay, skeleton, you're not gonna move. Fucking asshole. Okay, so now... Get this. Boss off in this bitch. Pathetic, dude. Trophy earned. Two-headed snake. You obliterated. And Fizz been bane now. Rob will be an awesome dad. I'd like to think so. Very easy boss. It's crazy because the the levels themselves are so cryptic and hard, but the bosses are easy. It'd be a fun game to run through once you know how to do everything. So now this guy wants to talk to you after you beat him for some reason. The Game Gear Mini needs batteries? What, like button cell batteries? Yeah, you're gonna code and draw that five second boss. I beat it like so quickly, I was like, really? I didn't even get hit. All right, so now we can start exploring some of the other areas. Now here's where I'm gonna really need you guys' help. Um, so there's a there's an area I think over here. You can't open that treasure chest yet. You need some item to hit those wheels or something right there. Dude, I had a Game Gear when I was a kid, and I didn't even like it back then. Like, I got I got the Game Gear for... I remember I got it for my birthday, and it's crazy because... I remember I had a school play I had to go to, so I, I, I went home and opened my present. I didn't barely get to even play it, and I had to go do this stupid school play. We did a rendition of Grease. It was fucking awful. I had, like, one speaking role in it. I had to go fucking do it. It was terrible. And then I finally got to go home and play my Game Gear. And, dude, I only had, like, a few games with it. I had Shinobi 2 and uh, Sonic and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and maybe, like, one other one. I just, I didn't really... Dude, I, I just, I didn't have... My, my parents never bought batteries that often. So it was just one of those things where it was just, like, pretty pointless unless I was going to have it plugged into the fucking wall the whole time. Uh. Dude, fucking batteries were mad expensive back in the day, dude, and they didn't last at all.
Like, we didn't have these good batteries that everybody has nowadays back in the day, dude. Okay, this is where I need to go. So I can get my next weapon here. Okay, so... I'm trying to remember. I think you go down here. Go down here. Okay, here's something else you'll never fucking know, dude. I had to see this in a video to figure this out. You guys even gonna believe this. What they expect you to do here, okay? Get this. So you gotta go down this, this, uh... This hole, right? And there's gonna be these two bats. You gotta kill the two bats before falling down to the next screen. Okay, those two bats right there, you gotta kill those. And then it'll unlock that treasure chest right there. Like, you would ever fucking know that. See, look. Like, what the fuck is going on with this game, dude? You would never figure that out. And that gives you one of those, uh, things that increases your health. So you need it. Sacred Orb. So that increases your health capacity. The woman shall be with child when within the man. What the fuck, dude? What does that mean? It's just random shit, dude. I agree. It's, there is no puzzle here. Okay, so get this. Path that connects two pyramids, okay? So, check this out. You gotta, like, hit this thing in a certain spot. And it'll fall, but if you don't watch out, it'll fall on you. And kill you. Then you just jump up. And it connects to a different world, like what? Jesus Christ, dude. There's something here I need to get. In this part, you can't touch any of, you can't whip any of the walls because you'll get electrocuted. Those eyeballs that are on the wall will electrocute you if you hit the walls. Yeah, I think this came out slightly after Cave Story, if I remember right. This is a remake of the original version. You guys gotta remember that there's an original version of this that looked like an MSX game, pretty much. Or an old DOS game. So there's a uh, grappling hook thing over here that I can get right now. Oh no! Oh shit! The jumping sucks fucking balls. That sucks. Yeah, there's not a lot of logic involved in these puzzles, dude. And like I said, you can get stuck, dude, because if you ain't got no wooden plugs to drop on those switches, and you ain't got the Holy Grail to get back out, I mean, you're just done. You, you gotta die. Sometimes you'll save within this area, and you'll just be you'll just be done for. You can't you can't get out. Yeah, I only got three fucking wooden logs left.
You gotta really be careful with these jumps. So now you got the grapple claw. So the grapple claw, you can like hook onto the wall like this and then jump off. I'm guessing it comes into handy later on or something. There is logic, but the hints are fucking insanely up too, so that's very true, dude. So there's not a lot more I can do in this area, I don't think, and you can't warp to this area for some reason. I don't know why. Let's get the fuck out of here. It is like randomizer puzzles, dude. It's weird. So let's save it. So that's about my full knowledge of the game, guys. I, I don't really know a whole lot more. Oh, I grapple claw. It's weird, dude. Like, it's not self-explanatory. You gotta jump towards a wall and push push the, the, the diagonal direction of whatever you're facing. So it's not... It, it took me a while to learn it too, so I'm not I'm not no master at this for sure. Yeah, I don't think I'm some master. I'm not. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, if you want to play Game Gear, you can play Game Gear, dude. You don't gotta be playing it. And they, these little Game Boy, Game Gear Micro things, they don't, they don't even have but like, shit. They don't even have but like three games a piece on them or some nonsense. I mean, how, are you really gonna get invested in a game that's like fucking three centimeters big, dude? Like, get the fuck out of here with this shit. So now I should be able to warp to it. Go buy some wooden planks here. There's four games each. That's not great. Aren't they forty dollars a piece? What do they fit on a fucking keychain? I should probably buy that. But I'm not yet. Fifty bucks a piece for this tiny little piece of shit, dude. I got 20 logs. Why isn't it letting me warp? Oh, I gotta read it, don't I? God damn it. That's bullcorn. Dude, I was only gonna get it if it was rechargeable. If it's not even rechargeable, and I gotta fucking put button cell batteries in it or some nonsense, I'm done, dude. I'm not buying it. No interest. No interest at all. Dude, they should have made a Dreamcast Mini. Dude, if Sega was even remotely smart, they would have made a Dreamcast Mini. That's moronic. There we go. So I should be able to warp to here now. Yep. Okay, now, there should be like a knife here or something. Yeah, see, you're just stuck, dude. Like, if you ain't got the Holy Grail, like, you can't get out of here. Or maybe you can. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. I don't remember. Oh, you gotta, you gotta go over here to open that. Oh, shit. Shit, you gotta go around. Hold on, I'm gonna open that real quick.
There's a switch I missed. And there's like running boots. You can get these running boots, and I gotta remember where to find them. Because the running boots help you quite a bit, dude. find these boots. The boots let you run a lot faster. So I just gotta remember where to find them. Oh shit. Get on my fucking nerves. There's my dagger. You can get what's coming. That's your second weapon. Oh, donation? Come on. The dagger's really good, but it's very close range. Snake enjoying a can of beans. Live Bob's your favorite Mega Man 1 song of yours. Um, I'm gonna have to probably go with. I think. I think Elect Man. Yeah, Elect Man's my favorite. Hug Savage, Wii most useless console ever released. Ah, I disagree with that, dude. The Wii U is worse than the Wii. I mean, that's just factual. Well, we had some really classic games on it, but we use a fucking piece of junk. I still don't own one of those, and I have like no interest at all in ever owning one. All right, got the knife. I'm not sure what that does. Press the save mess. Oh, you can save the uh, messages. That's pretty good, I guess. Alright, let's go heal. I didn't mind. Dude, the Wii, like, the Wii I have a soft spot for because it was one of the first consoles I ever modded. So I modded it to, to play all kinds of retro games and, and, like, you know, put a whole bunch of games on it. The only reason I, I don't really play it that often is because I don't like the controllers, how you have to have batteries in them. And there's no real good controller that doesn't require, like, batteries all the fucking time that I found. So I stopped playing that one. Now, let me look up where the boots are in this. Holy Grail, Crucifix, Helmet, Grapple Claw, Bronze Mirror, 
Eye of Truth, Ring, Gauntlet, Treasures. Hermes Boots. Oh, okay. The location, Mausoleum of the Giants in room F3. Buying the shop for 60 coins. Okay, so we gotta go to the Mausoleum. We need those boots, trust me. What's up, Ani? Hey, that was a weird fucking picture you sent me, babe. I was like, what the fuck was that? It's like the worst picture I've ever seen. <laughs> That picture was like the equivalent of an infant getting a hold of your camera phone and sending it to me. I was like, uh, I'm not even sure what the fuck this is supposed to be. It's like a Picasso painting or something. Oh, I'm gonna hit the spike. No, no, no. Oh, right at my ass. Dude, this sucks. And then I asked you what it was. You're like, never mind. Yeah, this song does kick ass. Now, this area... This area, I've literally made no progress in. Like, I have not completed one puzzle in this fucking area. I just don't understand what it wants from me in this goddamn area. So if any of you guys can figure out what the fuck you're supposed to do here, I'll be eternally grateful. Cause I have no fucking clue, dude. You guys will see what I'm talking about here coming up. Should've known that was a trap. The Wii U does suck. Right on, I So you'll get to this part coming up with a whole bunch of statues. Now, you guys want to hear something fucked up? Beyond belief? You guys ain't gonna believe this, okay? You see that tablet right there? This tablet? Okay, if you read that tablet, it'll say, do not read this tablet again. And then if later on you forget and read that tablet again, it'll turn your game into hard mode and you cannot get out of it. It permanently turns your game into hard mode makes the game like three times harder permanently okay that's how fucking retarded insane this game is fuck you game okay only reason i know that is because uh fucking somebody warned me about that like immediately like don't read that tablet twice what a joke dude yeah honey bought this game for me and i'm driving nuts i guess I'm not sure how to open that treasure chest. Yeah, Jesus Christ, dude. Like, I mean, this, this game is ruthless. This little dicks rolling around on the ground. puzzle here that I have no idea how to complete. Let's see if it's a skeleton. Nope. Concerned for his brothers, Ribu dug a hole to send the lake's water to the tower. His strength exhausted, he then laid down to rest. Okay, you can't, you can't hit that. Cause it'll fucking electrocute you. Okay, 
kill the ghost? I'll try. That eye will electrocute you if you hit the wall. That wall with the sun on it, if you hit it, it'll, see, it'll electrocute you like that. Ghosts are frightening. He said he dug a hole. I'm pushing down, like maybe there's a hole around here or something. Yeah, those eyes are everywhere in the game. They're nothing special. I don't... Oh, oh god! What? Whoa! Uh-oh. He's disappearing before. This game makes me like overthink puzzles sometimes too. Nice! Rolling shuriken. Giant butt plug. Get that giant butt plug. Cool. Yeah, my face is starting to break out from those fucking masks too, babe. For the tower to fly, much water was needed. What are you doing, cat? Quit being shady. It's a cool game, Black Metal Gamer, but good luck with the puzzles, bro. They are brutal. I'm looking for the boots. The boots are around here somewhere. Okay, here's, here's where this shit, okay. Like, it's some kind of puzzle with these, with these, uh, statues. But I don't know what it wants from me. Maybe you guys can clue me in as to what it wants me to do with these fucking puzzles. With these, with these fucking statues. I got a donation. Hold on. Oh, I did. Thanks, Arbiter. I beat Final Fantasy IV. The last dungeon make Final Fantasy III's look like a joke. It's just absurd. Dude, like, I've had so many people tell me the DS version of that game is just completely unfair. So you're not the first one for sure. That's why that's why if I if I played Final Fantasy IV, I would probably play the Super Nintendo easier version of it. Just say hell with it. There it is. There's the boots. Got my boots, bitches. Alright, now we're faster. The beginning of the song sounds like uh thriller. Like less less of the beginning of the song. When I walk out, listen to it, watch. <laughs> da -da! It totally sounds like the beginning of Thriller, it's weird. So yeah, now we're a lot faster, so that's cool. Oh, thanks Gizmo. Rob gonna run the riders over in his tank with a 40 in each hand and a waffle hoe in his trunk while playing some Mega Man 9. That's the movie. We're bringing out the old school right there, dude. Old school song, Rob. 
So yeah, those boots definitely help. All right, now we're in the part of the game that I have no idea what to do or where to go. So. I'm gonna need you guys' help big time. It totally sounds like Thriller, dude. It blows my mind. I thought that last night when I was playing it, too. Okay, is there anything to do with these statues that I gotta do? I feel like there's something right here, because little chunks of the arms coming off when I come over here. Oh, another donation? Thanks, Back Metal. You already ran about the people defending the riots. I did, dude. You missed it. it makes me wonder if there's anything left to do in this area. I guess we can go down. Yeah, we can go down over here. I hate those fucking guys. Makes me think there's something right here. You can manipulate certain giant statues at the bottom. Okay, let's go down there. Because these tablets give you, like, vague clues to these statues right here. But they're so vague. I wonder if I'm just supposed to kill ghosts again. Alright, sick Nick. So how do you manipulate them? What am I supposed to do? Music is fire in this. He can't jump and grab ladders. Beyond his abilities. See ya, Ani. Mylon Secret Castle, yeah. Dude, I was trying to think of like what this reminds me of with its like vagueness. Yeah, you nailed it, dude. It's got a very Splunky slash Castlevania 2 slash uh, Montezuma's Revenge slash fucking Mylons. Go to the very bottom of the world, okay. Strength lies at the foot of Futo, but which one is Futo? Dude, Mylon's Secret Castle is fucking ridiculous. I never played that when I was a kid. I always, I always seen it for sale and and shit like that, but I never, I never bought it or anything else. It always looked interesting to me. I'm glad I didn't know. It would have drove me nuts. You might not even read these tablets, dude. They're so fucking vague. Okay, so... Now this fucking shit right here... I think this area unlocks... Different areas of a different world. If you jump on them from a, above, like it'll move. So I think it unlocks different things from different worlds or something. So I think star is what I need, because in a different world, I, I seen that a picture of it needed to be like a star or something. You press down on the giant's feet, spikes will appear except for one. Oh, okay. Dude, I never would have figured that out, bro. Are 
you serious? How in the fuck are you supposed to know that? There's no indication anything's even there! Dude! That's fucking nonsense, dude. I never... I never would have figured that out, dude. I would have I been here the rest of my life. The boss is near. Okay, it's none of these. Is that the boss? Dude, that's some Nintendo power crap right there for sure. Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. It's just random, dude, exactly. It's not cryptic, it's random. I'm about to die. Dude, you gotta get it in like the certain spot too. Okay, so I did it. What did that do? Oh, I unlocked the chest. Ooh, another sacred orb. Very nice. Very nice. Awesome. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, now I can go up the ladder. Dude, this game is wild. This game is wild. Magella is left-handed. Okay, so what am I... Fall down the line shaft and hit one tiny ledge that won't know to the only way to get Vamos and Dark Yeah yeah yeah. Dude, this is this is it. This is uh, this entire game is like bending down with the red jewel in Castlevania 2 to get the tornado to bring you around, dude. This is like the equivalent of an entire game of that. Oh, okay. Is there something I'm supposed to do right here? No, I barely ever played Goonies 2 on the NES. That game always pissed me off. I never bothered. Oh god. Okay. Dude, Indiana Jones didn't even have this much fucking trouble with this. He didn't have this bad of fucking puzzles in his temples. Oh, that opened it. Dude, those guys are punks. Oh god, oh no! Oh! Okay, 
See, I like figuring things out on my own, too, but... I'm the type of person that I'm not going to sit here 20 hours on one fucking part, dude. I'm not going to do it. I have nothing to prove in that regard. If my brain does... If it doesn't click with me after a certain point, I'm looking up a guide. I don't care. I don't feel any less of a man in doing so. I got an off jewel, so that's cool. Oh, well. Okay, then. This game is jerky, dude. It up. Those guys are like impossible to fucking hit. See what I mean? Like, I mean, if I didn't have the holy grail, I probably would have died right there. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, that sucks. I think I turned him around, didn't it? Oh my god, dude. Fuck these ghosts. I think that's the sky disc, yeah. So I think you gotta like position the sky disc in a certain way, but it doesn't really tell you. Dude, fun fact, dude, the guy that made this music, dude, had no musical background at all. He just, like, winged it. It came out this good. Okay, sure game. The fuck? The hell was the point of that? If you press down on the pot, the giant points at you down like a pipe. What the fuck? You gotta be shitting me. Here. Can you use the whip to swing in this game? I think it's just for attacking. It is dude, you gotta go down and you gotta go down and watch. No way. Huh, I don't know. Dude, Tomb Raider 3 has some really cryptic shit in it, too.
I always thought uh, Tomb Raider 3 was way too fucking difficult for its own good. Hmm. Yeah, Tomb Raider 3 was fucking silly, dude. Yeah, fun fact, actually, Tomb Raider 2 and Nightmare Creatures were my first two PS1 games ever. Some of the walls you need to push in Tomb Raider 3, you can you barely make out. Yeah, if you miss them, you'll be stuck. I hate Tomb Raider 3, dude. That game is fucking insane. Oh, okay, yeah. I already got the off jewel, so we're good. Oh, he just smashed me, dude. Are you serious? Wow, dude. Wow. That's fucked. That is fucking retarded, dude. You gotta be shitting me. I, I still got the off jewel? I do. Did you see that? Did you see that? Ridiculous. That was bullcorn. I'm one of the people that say that the Tomb Raider games just don't hold up. I, I can't play these platformers with fucking tank controls in this day and age, dude. I can't do it. I think this part is the endless corridor. Yeah, this is the Endless Corridor. I have no clue what to do here. There's a save point over here. Yeah, feel free to tell me what the fuck I'm supposed to do in this endless corridor, dude, because I have no idea. The giant with hole in his chest gets activated by one of the stars on the sweat. Oh, they do. The giant with the hole in his chest. Alright, I'll go back there and say. I'm not sure what the game even wants from me right here. Key sword location. Simply break the block with any weapon to reveal the key sword. Despite its appearance, there is no eye of divine. C2. In which location? In the in the mausoleum? I still got the fucking map to this area. Fart around with this shit some more here. Three 
together. Oh, Nana's corridor. Break the block with any weapon to reveal the key sword. All right, I'll go back there in a minute. I'm sorry if this game is boring, guys. It's just that type of game. <laughs> I think this game's fun, even though it's makes your head hurt. Yeah, I saw a picture of what Drunken Punk looks like now, dude. I, I, I have no idea what that dude's deal is, dude. He has to have something. He has to have some kind of bullshit to be able to, like to live, dude. He has to have something to blame his problems on. He has to have, you know, he has to have something. So now he's saying that he, the PTSD and the bipolar was misdiagnosed, so he never had that. Uh, apparently now he's got gender dysphoria. That, that's been his problem the whole time. And autism. So that's been his problem the whole time. And he never had PTSD. So him, him sitting there and saying he had PTSD the whole time, he never had that. So he was on Reddit talking about that. And so, yeah, so now he has something else to blame everything on. Dude, whatever doctors he's going to, he needs to go to a fucking different one, dude, because they're just fucking with him. Dude, he just, he has to have some reason and something to blame for him to never have to do anything, dude. That's literally all it is. So now he's in this group on fucking Reddit where, like, you know, that's his whole thing now is posting Reddit posts about his problems or whatever. <laughs> the Arbiter. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Yeah, all that shit, dude, where he was trying to, like, make everybody feel bad for him about that shit. It was, it, dude, he wasn't even, wasn't even a problem. Like I said, he has to have something, dude. The hole in the chest, uh guy ain't opening up. I think I've done every combination. I don't know, Asa like posted on the Reddit thing like attacking and it was hilarious. Whatever gets him through the day, dude. I, I, I have really nothing else to say to that guy, dude. Yeah, this guy's not moving, dude. I've done every combination of that thing. Apparently there's a block in here I gotta blow up or something. The music in this part's weird. Oh, it's in the far right of the mausoleum. The star must be in the highest position to work. 
What's that mean, highest position? Oh, one jewel. Ace is fucking pissed, dude. Like, when I fucking told him that shit, he's like, dude, you have no idea how many times he wanted to blame PTSD for everything. Now he's gonna sit here and say he never had it the entire time. And now he wants to blame his problems on something else. Like, are you fucking serious, dude? Oh, there's a chest that opened. Oh, the top symbol is the selected one. Oh, five dollars. Big Chungus damage people like Chris Chan and drink a puncture stay off the internet for their own good. Uh, dude, like I said, his whole deal is drunken punk. He doesn't want to do anything. He just doesn't. So anything he can come up with to get out of doing anything, it's like a dream for him. Okay, what would help him the most is to get out the fucking house and move on with his fucking life, but he don't want to do that. Is that the position it needs to be, dude? So it's basically sun, moon, star. Does it need to be sun, moon, or star? No, nah, dude, apparently his mom want, backs him up. I mean, his mom sounds like a good person. She just backs him up on everything he does. As a mom should, but at the same time, she's not helping him. Oh, yeah, look! There's a switch there now. What did that open? My skull! What the hell did that open? Dude, this game's making my head hurt. Yeah, it doesn't even tell you what it did. I'll wait for message to pop up tell me what the fuck that even did. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have done that. Damn it. Extra girth. I appreciate your help, bro. Doesn't seem to be too many people that... <laughs> knows too much about this game, and I don't blame him. It's fucking crazy. I'm still having fun playing it even when people are helping me, so I don't mind. <laughs> Bonesmith's like, yeah, this game. I'm like, yeah. God damn it. Yeah, all I hear is all I hear is thriller every time I fucking hear that now. It's like ruin this song for me. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, there's the onk. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We have a boss fight on our hands. 
Uh, let me go save it real quick. Oh shit. I have no idea about this boss, guys. I haven't gotten this far. You guys are getting me there. Got this, guys. Let's do it. I have no idea. I'm guessing that stacking's gonna come alive. Damn, that's a freaking far jump. Oh, I'm not even gonna be able to get over there. Yeah, I gotta... I, dude, I gotta... Oh, fuck. I gotta fucking get that guy to lean over so I can even get over there. This game is awesome, though, dude. Thanks, Arbiter. There's a way forward game called Mystic Bell. It's kind of cryptic, but it has good music in Metrovania. A guide helps out a lot. Mystic Bell, dude, that sounds familiar. I'll have to check it out, dude. Oh shit. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Oh, I get it. I get it. Damn, dude. Damn, son. Oh, he's hard, dude. Damn, dude. He's tough. Oh, I searched right before the boss. That's cool. I didn't expect uh, that show of kindness from this game. I figured it. I figured it erase your save file <laughs> and corrupt your fucking game to where it'll never work again. Seems like something this game would do. Damn, dude! I don't even know how to get away from it. sure how to get away from the arm when it comes back up. I guess you just gotta jump way far away from it. Oh, he's doing some stomping. Donation. When I heard... Thanks, Arbiter. When I heard Drunken Punk was doing the trance thing, I prayed it was just a rumor. Uh, dude, I, I figured it wasn't because, like I said, he's always doing things like that. So, like I said, it doesn't it doesn't at all surprise me, dude. Oh god, he's got a laser beam now. What? stay up here, but... Still 
Yeah, you can't, can't get greedy with this guy, dude. You gotta take your time. If you get greedy, he'll lay you out. Hit detection's off. Oh shit, now he's a skull. Oh shit, now he's a skeleton. Oh god. What's this now? Oh no. Shit. Oh, thanks, Pika. So can't believe Drunken Punk lied his way into the community to get everyone against Asa. Dude, that doesn't surprise me at all. Not one bit. Oh no. Dude, what the fuck? This guy's tough. His mask. His mask makes him pervious projectile, I figured. Pretty cool boss. A little slow paced. Makes refighting him after dying kind of a pain. Yeah, you can only hit him twice. Otherwise, he gets you. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, I'm froze. What happened? What was that? Yeah, I got froze. Yeah, I'm gonna die again, dude. This guy's hard. Damn it! Holy crap, dude. Ninja stars here. Wow. Okay. I think I need to go buy some uh, ninja stars. So let me go do that. That hitbox is a brutal. Oh, wrong one. That's plenty. That's plenty. Damn it, those guys. Y'all hit the spikes, damn it. Dude, dude, if that's what if that's what Drunken Punk wants to do all day is sit on Reddit and fucking you know waste his life away with fucking stupid ass groups and shit, dude, then let him. Like I don't give a fuck. I'm fucking over it, dude. Like I said, he has to have something to blame his problems on, dude. 
Man, I should have jumped. I just don't see how he goes from ha uh, a, a PTSD diagnosis to this all of a sudden. Like, they don't even seem remotely connected at all. Damn it, I keep getting hit by stupid shit. Getting greedy. Man, he's tough. This guy is tough. He hits you with that fist, you're done, dude. Like, you get like two hits from that fist and you're done for. That brings down a lot of health. The thing that pisses me off, you gotta do this long ass section again, dude. Fuck. Oh, come on! I'm only gonna do two hits, I'm not getting greedy. Nah, Gizmo, he's still on there, dude. He was arguing with Asa on the Reddit post. Asa made a post just to fuck with him, so he's on there still doing it. It's all linked in FDU if you guys want to check it out. Oh, donation. Oh, thanks, Pika. Vaughn told me months ago before we found out he's a liar that Drunken Punk's plan was to later sexually assault you like he did to that birdie, dude. Oh, you're talking about with, uh, what's his name? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about with David. I watched that video where he was grabbing his leg, dude. That, that was the fucking, that, ugh, God, it's so cringy. Some of the newer people in here might not even know what we're talking about. Come on, dude, lose the mask. Put that on screen! Put it on screen, guys! Alright. You can't even get away from that. Wow, dude. Gotcha! Suck my balls! Dude, you don't even get nothing for beating the bosses or nothing, dude. Like, that's how brutal this game is. Like, give me fucking something.
come back immediately for reels. Hopefully he actually has something to tell me this time. Dude, he never tells me anything worth a fuck, dude. Dude, that, that took a shitload of fucking... Almost 30 shurikens to beat that fuck. Alright. So now, explore a little deeper. I'm having fun, guys. This is fun. This game's fun with help. So I need to. I need to buy. That waterproof computer thing. I'm not sure where that's at. Oh, it's 50. Of course, I need 10 more, I figures. Okay, let's go explore. Let's go explore this part again. Temple of the Sun seems to have some cool stuff in it. Dude, like, I'm genuinely confused as to what the, this, this Joe Biden thing is all about, dude. Like, I... Like, there were other candidates they could have chose, dude. I, I really don't get it. I mean, just because it was fucking Obama's vice president, that's literally the only reason. They're really banking on that, I guess. I mean, what a joke, dude. I still ain't got the staff or whatever I need to unlock those little things. Wow, you can't see. Almost trapped me in there, dude. I know better. Open the four boxes, seek the four pedestals within the hands of the four to reside in a place, bathe, and move on. Dude, that's just broken English bullshit, dude. That means nothing. There's one down there, too. are two and one, the twins are identical to what?
All those eyes do, Arbiter, is electrocute you if you hit the walls. They're in like every level. They're fucking annoying. Oh shit, fuckers. Oh, I hate those fucking guys that shoot the fireball, dude. They're dicks. Meditate under web jet, do nothing more than pray. What the fuck? Like I said, I mean, I heard Blamulana 2 is way more streamlined and fair. Proof case. All right, there ain't really much else in here. Go down here, I guess. Whoa, dude! Whoa! What? You gotta be shitting me, dude. This game is ridiculous. Wed jet is an eye. Sleep under it using the pedestal. Like a, oh yeah, I can. Hold on. There we go. I can't, I can't get over there though. Oh yeah, I can. Bitches. Wow, dude. Hard. Whoa. Whoa. Whatever the fuck that shit is. Oh, come on. There is no light up ahead. Oh, see those eyes? That's what they do. Fucking electrocute your ass. I don't think there's much else I can do in here right now. Go in here, I guess. See, that's, that's the hint that you're supposed to... Those that fly shall be cast down. That's the hint that's supposed to tell you to beat those two bats to open the treasure chest. Like, I would never put that two and two together, dude. Never in a million years.
There might be something in here I've missed. Oh no, come on. Those guys don't even talk to you. not quite the uh, Super Metroid jump, that's for sure. I don't know, guys. I don't know where else, what else to do. What's the next step? We killed two bosses. find the axe weapon in the Temple of the Moonlight. You can only progress in the Temple of the Sun, okay. See, that helps out a lot, just knowing that. Actually, hold on, let's try this. I want to go a different route in the Temple of the Sun here. Like I said, we had we had a protest here uh, around there. Uh, it's adjacent city to me at Troy, and it turned violent real fucking quick. What did that do? What? The fuck is that shit? That was like randomly, I randomly figured that out. I can't go back over there though. Lame. Getting the layout of where everything is is a really big part of it, too. Oh, thanks, Arbiter. BLM can't answer for the fact that their protests constantly break out in the riots, and they have an attitude that they don't have to answer for it. They Nobody's held them account accountable for anything. What a 
that dude. This grappling hook sucks. They lit up the platforms. I can't get up there though. See, I can't go up that other way. To try it again, it makes me go around. See, it won't let me. It won't let me go back up here. That's bullshit. Yeah, you gotta fall on from the top, I think. I'm just not thrilled to have to go around every single fucking time, dude. That's bullshit. Even uh, limited run games is like not taking sales or something for. I don't know, dude. I, I'm so sick of. I, I'm just like staying off the news and shit, dude. Doing my own thing. You gotta be shitting me. No, you can't jump on it from above. That's what I was gonna do anyway, just fall straight down. It didn't work. Fuck this game, dude. Okay, whatever that did. Okay, I thought I couldn't go up that ramp before, maybe because I didn't have the boots. That's what it was, I didn't have the boots. For sure. That bird is like right at the one location where you can't fucking hit it normally. Okay, I'm gonna try something. That's how you do it, bitches! What up, what up? Uh-oh. What the fuck? What is that? Whoa, whoa! Great, now I got shit flying at me from every angle. At least I still got shurikens from that boss fight.
Not many left, though. Down here, bitch. Gotcha! Looks like we got a new area, folks. What we got here? Inferno Cavern, uh-oh. Yeah, sure. Oh no! Get out! Get out! No fucking way! <laughs> oh my god, dude! Unreal! I gotta do that boss fight again, that mini boss. I don't even know if I'm even supposed to go over there. Can't even get out, dude. Yeah, you have to fight. I have to fight that mini boss again, dude, because it's saved beforehand. There's a little cart right here that I pushed down. I wonder what this does. Extra weight brought this down. It'll probably just immediately kill me or give me AIDS or something once I get to the bottom of this. Oh! It's another boss fight, but I don't have one of the one of the jewels. Damn. Wonder where I can find another jewel and get another boss fight, bro. That La Moana sounds like a disease. Yeah, my La Moana's flaring up again, dude. I'm making some pretty good progress here. It actually feels like I'm doing something. If anybody knows where to get another one of those jewels, we can get another boss fight going. No clue how to get up there. After you kill the spinning legs lion boss, you can whip a block on the top of that room. Oh, no shit. Okay. Oh, no. Hold on, let's go get some health first.
Have about some shurikens too. This is gonna be a third boss fight, dude. I mean, I think there's only like eight, so we're making real good progress. hitting those statues and they won't fire at me. At least I think that's how it works. Oh no, I hit one. Damn it. Oh no, they just fired. Oh, they just start firing as you beat the boss. Oh, I beat his ass that time. Old style. Dude, what? How is anybody supposed to find that? Get the fuck out of my face! Are you serious, dude? I would never find that. That's silly as fuck. Isis pendant? What does that do? Yeah, it's too cryptic, dude. I remember saying, somebody said I needed that pendant for something. I can't remember what it was for. Dude, that's like a key item you need. It's sitting in a fucking block. So where do I find... Is there one of those jewels in this area? Yeah, dude, this game is mental. Yeah, some of the puzzles in this are ridiculous for, for sure, JK Chaz. I need to find one of the jewels to fight the boss fight. Oh yeah, I'll save my game for sure. I think this game would be a lot more fun if the puzzles were toned down just a little bit. Like, calm down with these puzzles. I gotta go back up here.
No, not there. I was trying to relax, but this game doesn't allow it. Did I sleep under wet jet? So where is that at? Is that, is that an eye that uh, Arbiter pointed out, I think? Oh, bullcrap, dude. Where's wet jet at? I gotta go and buy some fucking logs. Again. Dude, the box set thing that I got with this game came with a soundtrack to every song in both games. How cool is that? I haven't opened it yet. That came with a jigsaw puzzle too, dude. 100 piece jigsaw puzzle. It's like really high quality, like cardboard and box box set. Look it up on Amazon, dude. It's really, really impressive. Bottom of the Temple of the Sun has an Egyptian looking eye, okay. Dude, this box is pretty impressive. I don't know if it's better than Lunar, but it's pretty good. You never heard of Llama Llama? That's, that's crazy, dude. This game... I've heard of it for a long time, actually. Oh, there it is. What does that mean, sleep under it? Does that mean pause it and literally sleep under it? I was gonna say, dude, are you fucking serious? WHAT?! No way that fucking worked! Did that really work? You gotta pause it and let him fall asleep under this random eye on the wall? WHAT?! Dude, never in a million goddamn years would I ever think of that! What in the fuck is this fucking garbage? Dude, that might have been like the turning point for me, dude. I, I, I cannot even fucking fathom. What, who would, would ever think of that? Jesus fucking Christ, dude! Yeah, take the game out of your system and break it in half and then glue it together, okay, in, in the form of a swastika and then put it back into your fucking system. But you gotta, you gotta jizz on it first before you put it back in. Like, that is, that is ridiculous, dude. What did that even open? Oh, that opened the chest! Oh my god. Wow. Dude, there's the jewel. Unfucking believable. I am, dude. I'm, I, I am just speechless, dude. I'm gonna need you guys here to play this. Like any, any future playing sessions there are gonna be of this game, you guys are gonna have to be here. Cause I can't. No way, dude. My brain don't work like that.
Like, that's the kind of way, like, my brain used to work as a kid. You know what I mean? Like, I, w I would think of stuff like that as a kid, like, random nonsense like that. But my brain works, like, logically now, as an adult. So, it doesn't quite work that way anymore for me. Okay, let's get to this boss here. Yeah, fuck, this game is right, dude. Oh god, what, 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 what? 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 Okay, this game just took a turn. What in the fuck is happening right now? Holy shit, dude, turn it off. Where's my remote? I gotta turn this off. Ah, ah! What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Okay, I'll get this, shurikens. Okay, I guess I'll shoot at it. Whoa, whoa! Shoot him in the mouth? Whoa! Oh, fuck him. Okay, alright. Holy shit, dude. Jesus Christ! This is pretty fucking cool, I will give it that. Wow. Oh my god! I'm low on health though. Yeah, you just, just fucking broke the dial off. Dude, we're past 11. We're way past 11, son. Jeez, that's a pretty cool boss though. Okay, but I, I gotta go heal up. That escalated real fast. Yeah, let's go heal. That's a cool boss. God, dude, that about gave me a heart attack. This is what I mean, dude. I think this would be, like, one of my favorite games of all time if the puzzles were more logical. Like, I mean, this game, like, this box set that I bought should have came with a fucking guide. That would be actually pretty cool. It came with, like, this really hardback, like, this cool hardback book, though. It was really cool. But it's, there's, it has, like, art and stuff in it. But it would have been even better if it was, like, a guide to the game. Because you pretty much need one, dude. I mean, this ain't no joke. Samsung. What's up, Bonnie? Look at this crap. Look at this game you bought me. Look what you did to me. Oh my god. Shit is fucking wild, son. Whoa. Dude, I'm telling you, this would be one of my favorite games of all time if the fucking puzzles were better. Kinda hard to dodge shit. Holy shit. Oh man. Whoa, you could you could technically beat this guy with the whip, but you gotta get Wow, we gotta really get in there though. Whoa! I just hope you don't have like two, two or three fucking forms. Oh man! I think I get that, get 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 the jumping down for when he attacks. I'll be okay. Oh, man, that's rough. I like that it starts you at the boss, though. That's like one bone that the game does throw you. That 
Actually, I wanted to get this on Switch, but the Switch version of this box sets like $80. Like, the, the Switch versions of box sets and stuff are, like, always more fucking pushing me off. I stopped caring about limited run stuff a little while, too, a while ago. So they're, they're just not as rare as they try to make them out to be, dude. I usually, if there's one I really want, I'll go on eBay and buy it or something. I, I don't, I, I very rarely buy them anymore, but I did buy that Streets of Rage 4 one just because... You gotta hit that guy like dead on, dude. It just turns me off of wanting to collect for the Switch, dude, because everything's more fucking expensive on it all the time. Man, that, his shots are really hard to get away from. Damn, son! I'm gonna run out of shurikens, too. Yeah, he's gonna beat my ass again. Oh, I'm out of shurikens. Not good. Yeah, this guy's hard, dude. This guy is tough. There's a second form? Oh my god. Uh... I'm having a hard time even hitting him. about to do this. I'm trying to figure out a, a, a better way to fucking hit him. Yeah, see he has this like random lunge attack too. That really kicks my ass. I probably ain't got enough shurikens. Wow, dude, I just don't know how to get away from his attacks. He's not throwing the fireballs as much. I'm getting this pattern down, it's just, some, I think now it's going to be the issue is going to have enough shurikens to beat him.
I know I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta beat him, but I wanna beat him. Faster, it feels like. Maybe that's just my imagination. Dude, he's getting. Dude, how many times you gotta hit him? I get him? Oh no, I died! <laughs> oh shit. Alright, I'm gonna go buy some more shurikens. I think the Streets of Rage 4 comes with a manual, but I'm not 100% sure. I think I almost had him too, dude. I ran out of shurikens at a bad time. I can never remember which one. Seventy four should be enough. Fucking better be. Rolling shurikens work if they go through the rail. Ooh, yeah, you might actually be onto something there, bro. The rolling shurikens might actually work. We'll test those too, my friend. I just gotta conserve my ammo here. Not get hit every fucking time he throws something.
getting faster. Dodge, bitch. Oh, I did that lunge. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Game face. Oh, that's bullshit. You can't even get away with that. Get away from that at all. I only got five left. It's taking a lot. Bullshit. Dude, I got none left. That's fucking fucked. God damn it! Holy crap, dude! Now I get to grind money and buy more. Fucking Christ. Dude, the whip is... The whip doesn't... Uh, it's too hard to hit him with the whip, dude. Like, it is just way too hard to hit him with that whip. Because he does these random lunge attacks and shit. It's, it's rough to hit him with that whip. Figure out where it would be the best area to get some money in. Do some grinding. Yeah, rolling shurikens didn't work, unfortunately. I can take a good amount of hits because I'm just gonna go and heal up for the boss anyways. When you need money, it'll never give you money. There we go. Uh, th this song sounds different from some of the rest of the soundtrack. I'm gonna get like 30 coins and then that should be enough shurikens. Dude, uh, oh yeah, the chess above that invisible bridge. You're right. Good call. Good call, my friend. I 
forgot all about those. Very nice. Good call, dude. Good call. That should be enough. 104. Let's get one more. Hundred and fourteen, alright. That ain't enough. Fuck this game, dude. Sleeping under that eye, that turned me off, dude. Like if that game's gonna pull that, then it'll pull anything. I can't see how anybody would ever figure that out, dude. The hints are not good enough to figure that out. It's fucking silly. Oh, you bad fuck. I hope I got this because I'm sick of doing it. when you have it on the pause for so long. I, I mean, that's how fucking cryptic and retarded that puzzle is, dude. Am I, am I have some thing that says to sleep under some eye or something, but I mean, unless you're on the pause menu, you even notice that. I mean, that's fucked. I just happened to notice it. God, dude, this boss is fucking bullshit. Okay. 
closer to him when I attack him. Dude, it ain't looking too hot promising here. I think so, I'm gonna die. God damn it, dude. Oh, fuck this. Damn it. Oh, I'm gonna try it a couple more times and I might come back to this area later or something. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> You're welcome, UIQ. A lot of people have trouble catching my screen because I do them in weird times. And you gotta hit him exact too, dude. The problem is his head goes up and down at like different little angles. It's, it's not it's not perfect every time. Oh yeah, I'm ready for that dopamine when I do kill it for sure. This game is mad cool, dude. I thought it wasn't so cryptic. Like, if they made, like, a La Mulana not cryptic edition, it'd probably be, like, one of my favorite games. Not fucking retarded edition. My brother was gonna buy this too, and I had to warn him about it. I was like, dude, I was like, I'm just warning you, you don't like fucking cryptic puzzles, and it's full of them. He's not a fan of cryptic puzzles.
Oh, God, dude. I'll try the whip. Shuriken whip combo. You gotta get so close to him to whip him though. That motherfucker. Get him this time. Tip off this bullshit. Get you. I'm gonna get you. Dude, I'm making it fucking rain. Shurikens on this dude. Oh, suck my butt! Yeah! 
That's how you do it, bitches. Hell yeah! That felt good, son. That was fun. Oh, now I'm dead. <laughs> I hit the thing at the end, and now I'm dead. Oh, now I'm in the twin labyrinths. Awesome. It's a fun boss once you get like all his entire move set down. Oh, what's this? I got 20 seconds. Whoa, what? What does this mean? Is there a stone tablet somewhere that mentions this? Find it and, and the poisonous fog should lift. You got 30 seconds. Port the gate's power. What the fuck, dude? Oh, uh, is it just right down there? Oh, it is, okay. Dude, wouldn't that suck to fucking die after all that? Fuck that, dude. I gotta go. Let me go save. That's nonsense to do that to you after a boss fight. Yeah, I'm, I guess Flame here is like. I should save. You should probably, you should probably save. Probably a good idea. You are correct, sir. This game is brutal, dude. Not sure what it wants for me here. See anything? I got my little butter knife out. It won't let me go in there. There's nowhere to go. Okay, that didn't work. See what happens if, if I'm in the poison spot. And it kills me. Dude, that's fucked up! That is fucked up! They, they, dude, they would literally make you kill that boss. And then kill you 30 seconds afterwards. Dude, what in the hell is wrong with this game, dude? This game needs fucking counseling. This game needs therapy, dude. Whoever made this game's got fucking a grudge against humanity. That's fucking nonsense. Dude, if I didn't realize there was a countdown, I, I could have literally just died had to do that boss again. That's a fucking mess. So I don't think I can do anything here. I don't think I could do anything here. That would not have been hilarious. I would have been super pissed. There's nothing to do here. I guess I can't do nothing here. Try hitting the statues? Okay, I'll try that. That eye is gonna damage me if I hit anything that's solid here. Huh. You guys know what to do here? 
Metroid Prime 2 Echo sucks. I greatly dislike that game, dude. I don't know. I think there's anything else to do here. Or I play the got the arcade version of Gradius 3 or Sekiro. Aw, oh, dude. Probably Gradius 3, even though that is probably the most unfair shooter ever created. Yeah, I don't think you can do anything down here. What game do I hate the most? Oh god, dude, I don't know. It's a good, good question. You pause, I got a donation. Oh, thanks, sir, bro. This is the kind of game to have a walkthrough. Yeah, that's why you guys are helping me big time, dude. I really appreciate it. You guys are very much helping me get through this fucking nonsense. Oh, let's see here. Console you hate the most would be the Wii U, dude. I think that was the biggest failure bullshit console ever made. I thought you were supposed to be able to go through that door in the poisonous fog room. I thought so too, it won't let me. No clue why. It will not let me go in. Twin statue and its gate. The twin statue calls forth the gate's power. The hero Hermes used the statue to release the twins. No idea what that even means, dude. It's fucking nonsense. to look this up, man. I don't know. I mean, there has to be something that I'm missing here. This is a weird game, dude. Oh, here we go. I scanned the statue. A statue that portrays a winged hero rescuing twins with a snake's body. The twins have the body of a snake. They desire to travel far. This desire took the form of the twin snake in its gait. The twin statue calls forth the gate's power. The hero Hermes used the statues to release the twins. What the fuck does that mean, dude? Yeah, if somebody wants to look it up, man, I, I'm, I don't know. Let's go scan this doorway. Alright, here we go. 
This gate is said to have materialized as a result of the twins' desire to travel far as they felt hindered by their snake form. Oh man, I almost ran out of time. I'm reading that you have to activate two pedestals. I don't see any pedestals. The Wii U is a great TV remote. Yeah, that's about all it does. I don't have any items or anything. UIQ, you probably wouldn't be too far off of what the actual solution is. If I hit the walls, it'll electrocute me. Inferno Cavern first. Okay, that figures. Alright guys, I'm probably going to call it for now. i got to eat something. I've been streaming for three and a half hours, but we will definitely continue this game because I'm having fun with it and we're actually making a lot of progress. So. The DS wasn't very good. The DS was amazing, dude. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That system had hella games. But it was a fun stream, guys. I will continue this probably later tonight if you guys want to hop on. So. You guys have made this game tolerable, that's for sure. I would never figure out some of this shit, guys. Never. So. You guys have a good one. Peace out. See you guys. Appreciate the donations, man. Appreciate it. See ya.